Hey trumpets, my name is Jason Brown. I am uh, one of the trumpet instructors in CCISD. Um, I will be performing your uh, region music for this year. Um, you're gonna have two etudes that you're gonna have to play. Basically what an etude is, it is a short musical composition typically for one instrument designed as an exercise to improve the technique or demonstrate the skill of the player. So that's basically what you're going to be doing for your region band audition, okay? You're going to be demonstrating uh, your skill on these etudes and the three scales that you have to play. You're going to play two major scales, plus you have to play your chromatic, okay? So I'm going to go through this first one. Um, I'm going to do two different videos. I'm going to do one where me just playing it straight through, and you can kind of play along. And then this one we're going to kind of explain it a little bit, okay? This is this etude is huge on dynamics. Okay, you'll see the, the the crescendos and you'll see the diminuendos. Follow that because that is demonstrating that you are a musician and not just someone who knows how to process notes. Okay, you want to play with a beautiful sound. Okay, nobody wants to hear a trumpet player with a with a sound that's not resonant. You know, uh, think about a singer like a maybe not like a pop singer, but like more like an opera singer or someone that you know they have to have a certain Type of sound in order for uh, them to succeed in their career. All right, uh, the tempo is 64. Okay, quarter note equals 64. Um, I would suggest that you just put it on quarter notes for now, just so you can uh, distinguish between the triplets and the uh, the regular eighth note. Okay, um, we're not going to do the uh, grace notes in 11 or 13. We can kind of explain and walk through this a little bit later, but. Here we go. So you're going to set your metronome on 64. And here we go. That's how it should be played. Uh, one thing that helps me, um, especially with note starts and dynamics, like I, I, I have to, basically I'm projecting what I want it to sound like. I have to have it here first, okay? Because this is just, this is an instrument to get the song, the music, um, our expression out of our mind so our listeners can hear it. Okay, it is a gift that you are giving somebody else. Make sure that it is a, a nice gift. Okay, when you when you go to your audition or you play for other people, give them your best. I mean, imagine you're giving a gift to your mom. Okay, you're giving a gift to your best friend or your grandmother. Okay, and they, you want to make sure that the wrapping looks really really good. Okay, you don't want to give them like it's got like duct tape all over it or something like that. Like you just kind of threw it together. That's not the gift you want. That's not the gift that you want to receive or the gift that you want to give. Okay? So one thing that I do to help me with note starts and stuff like that is to imagine that my sound, my air, and my articulation starts here. It starts at the bell. Okay? That takes a lot of emphasis off my face. Okay? And a lot of emphasis off the physical stuff. And I can start focusing on more of the mental and or the, the musical stuff. You know, so here it says... I can play as loud or as soft as I want and it makes it a whole lot easier so remember that a resonant sound cannot be forced it can't have tension anything like that that's what we're looking for a beautiful resonant sound and see if you can start to sound at the bell okay so back to your etude um, make sure that you've got that that strong downbeat going okay um, watch your dynamics Okay, you've got one flat in the key signature. What I would suggest is going and maybe circling all the, the B flats to make sure that you don't miss them. Okay, 
watch the dynamics in uh, measure nine, because beat one is probably gonna be piano, but then beat two on the F, it's gonna be forte, okay? And then it's gonna diminuendo, probably down to like a mezzo piano or something like that, okay? Just kind of use your imagination, kind of play around with it a little bit. Uh, see, record yourself a lot, okay? Play with a metronome, um, play for other people, that'll help you get some good performance experience. Um, make sure that the gift that you're giving other people uh, is, is the best that you can give them, okay? Don't just give them leftovers. Does that make sense? Um, I guess that's about it. Um, if you need any help, let me know, okay? I'm here to help you guys. All right, good luck, and uh, have a great year.